Hello everybody, it's Linda and uh, I just thought I'd uh, share some tips and tricks uh, with you on how to work with polymer clay in your mini albums. Uh, as some of you know, I'm working on a steampunk mini at the moment and um, here you can see uh, one of the pages. Um, all of this around here is uh, polymer clay and some charms and stuff. And I just uh, wanted to show you how I made this. And um, I've learned my tricks from this book. It's um, called Mixed Media Mosaics and it's by Lori Mika. And it's an excellent book. Um, she shows you uh, her techniques and in great detail and explains like a number of things you can do uh, with your polymer clays. So it's really brilliant and I highly recommend it. Okay, so when you start, you start out with your polymer clay. It comes in a packet, small packets or large packets. And uh, you take your blade and you just cut off a couple of pieces. Uh, polymer clay can be pretty tough uh, to like knit. So what I do is I just go like this between my hands like this and I'm going to do it off screen so you don't get crazy by watching my hands go like this. So <laughs> until you get this kind of a sausage just fold it again and do it all over and this way your clay will become soft without you just having to do all of this netting motion and getting really tired. You can also do it on your table. As you can see here, I put a, a ceramic tile uh, on my table because uh, this can go in the oven with the finished piece on top. So you don't have to like move your piece around to uh, from like the surface you're working on until and then moving it to your oven. So uh, this is like how I start out. Um, what I'm going to show you is how to make like this kind of a detail that I'm going to use on my album. I used Anne's chipboard uh, for this as well. And um, I just put my piece down here and I start covering it. Um, I'm going to um, to use a mold for this face here. And I use um, this kind of um, a mold. It's um, a soft plastic. I bought it from uh, e a seller on eBay. And what you do is you just moist it with some water and then you push your clay into the mold like so and if you want to uh, you can cut off like the excess clay with your blade just make sure you don't cut yourself like so and uh, I don't mind a little excess because it makes it a bit easier when you're going to take it out of the, the mold. So when you're happy with it, you just put it down like so. Then if you want, you can trim it off. And you can just go around the edges, edges like this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to cover this whole chipboard piece first with some clay. And I'm using my roller. You can use any kind of a roller. This is just an acrylic roller. It's, it's for uh, polymer clay, but any kind will do as long as it's not really sticky. I used to use my wooden roller, but... Uh, <laughs> that had a tendency to stick to it and 
I didn't like it as much. So here we go. Okay, I think this is like big enough. So what I do next is just cover this. Like so. And to take away the edges, you just push down with your finger towards the middle of the shape and you'll find that the polymer just comes off really easy so you get off the excess and you're left with just a piece big enough to cover your chipboard so like so okay now the fun starts now you can just push like any kind of a uh, thing into your clay and it will make um, a mark and or an imprint so uh, what I want to do here is I want to use like a rubber stamp this is a Tim Holtz stamp and I just push it down you can push pretty hard it's no problem and when you lift it up you'll see there is an imprint and if we're lucky I will be able to show you yeah <laughs> here you go so you see now that that's where I pushed down the stamp so I also want to use this this is just a charm and I just turn it upside down push it into the clay like so and carefully lift it up if I find that um, I'll show you the print like so if I find that my uh, charms and stuff get stuck to the clay I just uh, use uh, some water on top of it like so and then you'll find it's much easier to push things in so now I'll just continue pushing stuff into it I like to push these uh, little metal screws because they make like such a cool imprint and since I'm working in steampunk uh, gives this whole uh, industrial look to my piece so I want some more of that stamp so I'll just continue pushing stuff into the clay until I'm like happy with the how it looks like so okay now I'll show you if I can get my camera to focus yes okay so it's not so easy to see yet but just wait <laughs> this is where the perfect pearls comes into play and um, you can use any color you like to match your project um, here I've got some silver and what I do is they're like like dust like eyeshadow but loose ones so but in the lid you'll find there is some so if you rub your finger on the lid and you get the color on your finger then you can just rub it carefully onto the clay don't push too much because if you do then you will just remove the imprint that you made with the stamps and charms and stuff so if I'm not happy with the amount of color I just dip my finger ever so slightly tap off then take the lid and just rub my finger on it just so that I don't get these big globs of uh, powder on my finger because that will just uh, go into the uh, creases or imprints and uh, it will not show so I rub again and this time I'm a lot happier with how it turned out so I'll show you okay now you see like this then I want another color now you can understand why my fingers get so messy all the time so I'll just do the a violet it's called a reflex violet just to show you some contrasting colors here and I rub it on dip my finger in rub my finger in the lid and go over the clay so like so okay now I've got two colors here let's see if it shows up yeah 
and then we'll put some gold. I'll just use the sparkle gold. And this is why I get messy. I do like this. <laughs> and okay. So you see, not much in the lid here. Dip my finger in it, tap off the excess, and start rubbing it onto the clay, like so. Alrighty. So here you can see how it looks. And Let's try one more color. Mm. Let's try the super copper. Okay, dip my finger in it, tap off the excess, and rub. This is such a cool color. And what happens is that when you use black polymer clay and you uh, use these charms and stuff on it, then you'll see that uh, you get this black contrasting color where uh, your stamps have made like the print imprint so I can see a lot of small letters here uh, it will be hard for you to see because my camera is not so good but like here you can see some black and some color so it makes for a really cool effect and when this is uh, um, hardened in the oven you will uh, uh, you'll notice that the perfect pearls get like burned into the clay 